Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video we are going to take a close look at some GUM 4 IR light guns. I've reviewed all kinds of versions here on the channel from the old school Sega Saturn to the PlayStation versions, but nothing beats an old school light gun. But we can't use them anymore on a flat screen television, you need to have a CRT most of the time, but GUN 4 IR has a solution for that. So let's talk about it, how cool it is. This product was been sent in by the company that makes the gun for IR. I must say that I find it a quite interesting way they made this because we do have like high quality light guns but with new awesome features that we can use on our PC. Gun for IR is created by GB over in Japan and the distribution will be done by Ray from RPEG Electronics from the US. But before we even can use the light guns, we need to do a little bit of assembly and connecting it to the PC. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, assemble the LEDs that we need to place on the monitor. The LEDs have been already pre-soldered, so you don't need to do anything like that. It's just more like putting it on your monitor and plug it in with the USB with Barrojack connection cable. For this video, I'm using the 27-inch monitor from Philips. You can basically use all kinds of monitor. If it's an old Dell monitor or you want to use a 40 inch television, it's no problem whatsoever. I did get some double sided high quality tape, but I'm using the poster clays because of the form factor of my monitor. It was not like super easy to put them on here. So I basically got these poster clays. I don't know if you can buy them in every single country, but they are like dirty cheap. They can position the sensors perfectly. But the poster clays is just one of those epic ways. You can put them on your monitor super easy and they don't fall off that easily. But again, there are many ways to put them on your television. So let's go with the flow and let's take a close look at the light guns today. For my setup, I have chosen for the Asus GR8. This is basically an i5 6th generation with a GTX 1060. It's not the most powerful device, but it is powerful enough to run up to PlayStation 3. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The first light gun that we're going to take a close look is the Nemco G gun and I really love this one. This is pure nostalgia for me. This is the first one I basically got in my collection. We did have like the gray one, not this black version. It's an absolutely great piece of technology in combination with the new gun for IR. You can see that we do have like the option to use a 12 volt power supply, just a typical power supply that you need to plug in for the solenoid. Otherwise that part will not work. But again, like that we're going to try out with some gameplay. So let's plug it in. And let's have some fun because the settlement is pretty damn cool. But let's talk about the quality difference. And so what do we mean with quality difference? So how does it feel compared with the original Namco gun, the one I grew up with? So the first thing I'm noticing is like what we're having like both in my hands. I can feel this one is slightly heavier because this thing has been completely modded with his technology. Another thing is like the click of the Nemco, the gun for IR is different and I personally really find it like satisfying, like the click and just the way how it feels when playing the game. The technology behind it is also different. That is of course the reason why we can use this thing on an LCD display. So both of my light guns have been provided with a new lens and this is a special wide lens and the convenient thing about this is if you have like a smaller screen like me like a 27 inch or a huge screen you always have like a very great accuracy when it comes to the light gun itself. Let's do a quick weight comparison. So this is the original weight that is 226 grams for the original light gun. Let's grab the Gunfire IR and this weighs 384. So there's like a minor difference, but I just wanted to show you there is a difference. But how about the software itself? There are so many different ways to play, especially on the PC. We have like arcade games like back in the day, but also we have like the pretty damn cool games from the game systems like an NES up to the PlayStation 3. There are so many ways to play and you can bring them all together with Launchbox. Absolutely great piece of software that you can pick up for a lifetime license for not a lot of money. But again, it will bring this thing to the next level. So with the lifetime license, we do get the big picture mode and with the big box or big picture mode, I love to call it, you're going to get like a very nice interface. Here we got computer, arcade, even techno parrot, you're going to get this own, let's say subject and here we can choose our game that you want to play. Pretty damn cool. There's a lot of messing around with it to set it up, but big box makes it so much better or better said lunch box. And it gives this thing like a cool like experience, like back in the day in the gates, only now with two light guns from gun for ir and some cool software and a good PC, we have so much stuff we can play. So let's try a couple of them. 
Okay guys, so the first game we're going to try is the G-Com. This is with the rumble function. And then we have the solenoids in the inside. So let's choose the game. Let's choose a mission one, Buck Hunt. You come in here. It makes quite a lot of noise. You can do adjust it in the software itself. So you have like less noise. So if you want to adjust that. But what I really like about the sound noise in general, that we do get the same experience that we had with the original game. Of course, we don't have like a huge machine gun now, but we do have like the same experience. I think it's pretty damn cool. Have all the function, flamethrower, grenade, everything that we're going to get in the original game. Burn, baby, burn! But you can find the most weirdest games. So that actually works pretty damn good with this light gun. You can also see the crosshair. It's very accurate. The response absolutely amazing. Another great game to play is Time Crisis 2. Let's see the light gun in front of the screen. We're going to basically like put it from a distance. You can even play with two plates with some emulators, depending what kind of game and emulator you're playing, of course. I don't have the pedal, so I need to press the button at the side, but... But okay, so we do have like multiple different guns we can buy from the gun for ir shop itself. I must say this version, I really like it. The piston inside gives an absolutely cool, let's say, experience. And of course, a combination with the rumble. Then we have like this version. We didn't talk about it in this video. We're going to do that in a separate video. So I would say so consider subscribing, hit that little bell. And I really want to have myself the one with the recall because this is just like a cheap knockoff, in my opinion, because the real arcade gun from Nemco are having like this amazing recall. But again, like the gun for ir around like 800 euro absolutely crazy and a lot of money so i don't know for sure if i'm going to pick it up because in the end i'm very happy with the ones i'm having over here let me know in the comments what do you think of this like like namco like gun 4 r would you like consider picking it up but thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell let me know in the comments what do you think of it and it will be great to see you in the next video so let's go and of course let's take a close look at this version next and uh, just see if this one is even yeah cooler or is it better than the other one